Well, I finally installed my tat that I first picked up back in July down in Muncie with my friend Dan Spiffy Newman here. So I finally got it installed in my band jam spot. My drums go right there. I'm the drummer, by the way. So I needed some air over my drums for the longest time. It gets kind of warm and musty in this place. I also have a white caraway that's going to go here somewhere, probably lined up with that one as soon as I get the mounting bracket for it. So right now this thing is rated at 0.85 amps. Before it ran a little slow when I tested it with Dan and we found out the capacitor was a bit low. So we changed and replaced the capacitor. It calls for a 8 microfarad capacitor, so there was an 8 microfarad capacitor in it, but it was reading a bit on the low side, yet was intolerant, so they passed it and let it go, but wasn't giving me the most that it should. So, now that I have a new capacitor, this thing runs like a champ, gives off quite a strong breeze. Right now, until I get a speed control for it, which I probably will rig it up, I just rigged it to an uh, electrical cord. And I just plug right into the wall, so you're only going to get high power with this thing. So, but I can at least show you what it can do. Without further ado, here it goes. Now it's going to take a little bit to get up to speed since this is a stamp motor and it's got steel blades. This is a stamped steel motor, that is, I believe. Hopefully, hopefully I'm correct, but it's got steel blades so it's a bit heavy for this kind of motor, but it, it gets up there. Yeah, it's getting up there. <coughs> It's going. It's going here. Wow, quite a strong breeze from this thing. From that high up. I'll tell you one thing, compared to my bedroom residential contractor fan that they, the condo put in, this thing gives off at least twice as much air as that. And even some of the older residential models do that, but this is the kind of airflow I'm talking about. This thing is powerful. But this is my tat that I acquired down in Muncie. Indiana when I went down to uh, Fanimation by the way and Fanimation it's an awesome company they make artistic fans people there are very artistic and they're very creative with their fan models so it's definitely a company to look into uh, check them out online they got a bunch of interesting models but I picked this one up with Dan at a uh, empty uh, farm and fleet type store, some of them big market, some supermarket store or whatever, I don't know what it was, but it was empty, the guy was selling most of them off, he had a few of these tats, I got one of them, they had many Daytons, Stamp Motor Daytons, current ones, and uh, my friend Dan picked up the Airmaster Automares, there was a few of those that he got, so, but I picked a tat out of this one, but I love this one. Yeah, I wasn't, as much as I like how the Daytons run, they're just not my choice for quality, and uh, I think this one would last way longer, so. All right, now that you've seen how powerful it is, we're going to do a spin down for it, for those that you who like spin down. Plug is out.
Let's see what it does on spin down. It's taken quite a long time to spin down since these are steel blades. So, yeah, I like this fan though. Definitely like this tat. It's just like what I have at work. One of my, uh, one of the tats. <clears throat> one of the departments has a couple of tats out of several industrials. So, this is this is just like one of those. Some people think these are can arms, but this one is a tat. Can arm is actually made by tat and relabeled can arm, so in case if you're in case if you're thinking it's a can arm, I can assure you that it's not a can arm. So and it's still spinning down. Just like this one, taking a long time to spin down. Another model at Fanimation was the uh, Fanimation Ascension. Looks, if you, those of you know what a Dayton Lasco looks like, it, it looks a lot like that. Same style of blade. It's four bladed as well. It, but it looks a lot like this with those kind of blades. And that one was a silverish color, but it's a good model. If you ever want a powerful fan but don't need a light kit, that's also a good one. A good model to keep look into the Fanimation Ascension. But, but I was glad to finally get my first industrial. I've been dreaming about these for a very long time. I'd always eye these things out at every grocery store, any other retail store that had these in them. But commonly grocery stores like Pick and Save had these type industrials in general and for some reason I always loved them. But I finally got one. So, yep, looks like another man is practicing upstairs, so. But I will sign out as soon as this uh, thing actually stops spinning.
stopped. So, but that's my tat. I'll have another video of this one when I get a speed control for it. And I'll also have another video of my caraway when I get that one up over there behind me. So, all right, till next time, see ya.